Computer Speed and Measurement Unit Bit Width The number of binary digits, or bits, in each word is known as the bit width. As in the case with decimal numbers, the more bits, the more precisely the binary numbers can represent the signal. So, the bit width determines the noise floor for the digital signal. Clock Cycles In computers, the clock cycle is the amount of time between two pulses of an oscillator. It is a single increment of the central processing unit CPU, clock during which the smallest unit of processor activity is carried out. Executions Cores an execution core consists of one or more execution units, a control unit, and various other parts. On modern CPUs, each core typically consists of more than one execution unit. A quad-core CPU has four cores. If it's hyper-threaded, then the execution units in each core can be shared by two threads simultaneously. CPU Speed Measurements The clock speed of computers is usually measured in megahertz, megahertz, or gigahertz, gigahertz. 1 megahertz equals 1 million ticks per second, and 1 gigahertz equals 1 billion ticks per second. You can use clock speed as a rough measurement of how fast a computer is. Bandwidth Network bandwidth is a measurement indicating the maximum capacity of a wired or wireless communications link to transmit data over a network connection in a given amount of time. Typically, bandwidth is represented in the number of bits, kilobits, megabits, or gigabits that can be transmitted in one second. Here you see the figure of storage measurement where, smallest to largest units of storage are given. Classification of computer. Classification means a system of arranging something, devices, in different groups according to their common characteristics, uses or operating principle. There are four types of computers. Microcomputer. Mini computer. Mainframe computer. Supercomputer. Microcomputer. The smallest in the world is known as microcomputer. A microcomputer is a complete computer on a small scale, designed for use by one person at a time. A microcomputer is now primarily called a personal computer, PC, or a device based on a single chip microprocessor. Common microcomputers include laptops and desktops. Features of microcomputer Affordable cost Using by a single user Mostly microcomputer is portable Produce less heat Less processing power Mini computer the computer between microcomputer and mainframe computer is known as mini computer. A mini computer is also called as a mid-range computer. Mini computers are mainly multi-user systems where more than one user can work simultaneously. Mini computer examples, IBM's AS-400E, Honeywell 200, TI-990. Mini computer can support multi-users at a time or you can say that mini computer is a multi-processing system. Features of mini computer It is smaller in size than a mainframe computer. It is less expensive than a super and mainframe computer. It is not much more powerful than the mainframe and supercomputer, but powerful than microcomputers. It supports multi-processing and multitasking. Mainframe computer. The computer between mini computer and supercomputer is known as mainframe computer. 
A mainframe computer, informally called a mainframe or big iron, is a computer used primarily by large organizations for critical applications like bulk data processing for tasks such as censuses, industry and consumer statistics, enterprise resource planning, and large-scale transaction processing. Features of Mainframe Computer Storage Centralized Server Security Compatibility Transactional Processing Supercomputer The largest and powerful computer in this world is known as supercomputer. A supercomputer is a computer with a high level of performance as compared to a general-purpose computer. The performance of a supercomputer is commonly measured in floating-point operations per second instead of million instructions per second. Features of supercomputer Fastest Accuracy Weather forecasting Scientific research Security Online gaming Mobile computing Mobile computing is human-computer interaction in which a computer is expected to be transported during normal usage, which allows for the transmission of data, voice, and video. Mobile computing involves mobile communication, mobile hardware, and mobile software. Features of Mobile Computing Portability – the ability to move a device within a learning environment or to different environments with ease. Social Interactivity – the ability to share data and collaboration between users. Context Sensitivity – the ability to gather and respond to real or simulated data unique to a current location, environment, or time. Connectivity – the ability to be digitally connected for the purpose of communication of data in any environment. Individual – the ability to use the technology to provide scaffolding on difficult activities and lessen customization for individual learners. Applications of Mobile Computing Web or Internet Access Global Position System GPS. Emergency Services Entertainment Services Educational Services Computer Architecture Computer Architecture is the organization of the components which make up a computer system and the meaning of the operations which guide its function. It defines what is seen on the machine interface which is targeted by programming languages and their compilers. Computer System A computer system is a set of integrated devices that input, output, process, and store data and information. Computer systems are currently built around at least one digital processing device. There are five main hardware components in a computer system, input, processing, storage, output, and communication devices. You can see the block diagram of computer system with the working mechanism of its components. Input unit. The unit which is used to enter the data and instruction into the computer is known as input unit. It is a device that is used to give required information to the computer. The main function of input devices is to direct commands and data into computers. The basic input device are mouse and keyboard. The keyboard is an input device that allows you to enter letters, numbers and symbols into your computer. A computer mouse is a handheld pointing device that detects two-dimensional motion relative to a surface. Processing Unit the device which is used to process data and instruction after getting from input unit is known as processing unit. The computer's central processing unit, CPU, is the portion of a computer that retrieves and executes instructions. 
the CPU is essentially the brain of a CAD system. It consists of an arithmetic and logic unit, ALU, a control unit, and various registers. The CPU is often simply referred to as the processor. Control Unit CU. A control unit or CU is circuitry that directs operations within a computer's processor. It lets the computer's logic unit, memory, and both input and output devices know how to respond to instructions received from a program. Arithmetic Logic Unit In computing, an arithmetic logic unit ALU, is a combinational digital circuit that performs arithmetic and bitwise operations on integer binary numbers. Register Array It's a temporary storage. It resides within the processor chip. It's both very fast as well as nearer to CPU than RAM. Memory Unit The memory unit is a component of a computer system. It is used to store data, instructions, and information. It is also known as a principal slash primary slash internal memory. There are two types of memory, read-only memory, ROM-ROM is a part of the memory unit. Output Unit the device which is used to produce result is known as output device. A piece of equipment slash hardware which gives out the result of the entered input, once it is processed, i.e. converts data from machine language to a human understandable language, is called an output device. For examples printer, monitor, etc. Output unit 